Hi, and welcome to Neo Does Makeup. I'm Neo, and today this is part of a new series called Take Two. Um, I had to give a huge thank you to my friend Greg for coming up with the name Take Two. And I want to thank you guys for voting for that name because I was stuck between that and Old versus Neo. And <laughs> I honestly didn't know which one to go with, and I'm so glad that you guys chose Take Two. Um, also, I'm living from my hair right now. It's like really like wavy and like fun. Okay. Anyway, so what this is, this series is basically going to be me redeeming myself for past looks that were terrible. <laughs> um, I literally have a list of things I'm like, I want to redo that because that was terrible. <laughs> and so this is the first one. I'm like, if I'm going to do this series, the first one I have to do is the first ever makeup look I ever did which is back in 2015, and I'm just like, eee. I'm gonna pull it up, I'm just gonna. So, just so you can see. I'm still that same person. Um, so just for a little backstory of how I did this, I did this because I was, I entered a charity drag show at my college, which was Florissant College, go Mox. Um, <laughs> and I was the only one in the drag queen version that I know of that did everything by themselves. I got my own makeup, I got my own wigs, I got my own costumes, I got my own shoes. I did everything by myself. And I'm probably going to like link a little extra video that is just, uh, my drag performance, which was to Tea Party by Curly. Girl, I was going off that night. I was having fun. And then they stopped my music. And I literally paused and waited. And then I got back up on it. <laughs> anyway, um, I did not win that night, but I was judges, but favorite. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> and I remember there's people on Yik Yak. Saying like, oh yeah, this bitch should have won. I'm like, thank you. Anyway, um, so what I want to with this series, I'm just wanting to pay homage to where I started and how far I've come. And so I had to recreate this look first. I had to go with the nice like nude eye with a dramatic under eye. And I love how this looks. And of course, a red lip. Because at the time, I didn't know anything else but a red lip. <laughs> and just to make this a little more interesting, I wanted to stay with uh, how I was in college. And I made this only drugstore. And Sally's Beauty, because it's like drugstore range. Because I don't know where my <laughs> next setting spray went. So I'm like, let me just use this... Um, Anyway, I had so much fun redoing this and how I do my how I do my makeup now and I'm just I'm so proud of how far I've come within just three years. I mean, I know this is like very like like okay, yeah, whatever. But this just is so much for me. So I'm going to stop talking because I need to take all this off and do another look. And yeah. Take two. Here we go. Okay, so let's get started. I already took care of my eyebrows. And I primed and set my uh, eyes. And for eyebrows today, I actually used my Wet n Wild. Um, it's the, let's see, what's the name of this? It's the Retractable Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. So I use that to fill in my brows because this is a full drugstore look. So I primed with the NYX primer, set with Brulee, and now we're going to be going into the My Glamour Squad palette by Wet n Wild. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this transition shade right up here and put that high into my crease. High above my crease, actually. Okay, so that actually has a really good color payoff, but it's showing up 
cooler in the okay now I'm seeing it in the light and I'm like oh so it's not as cool as I thought it was <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> next I'm gonna dip into the shade right here and I'm just gonna use that to just go right in the crease the crease Taking my Sephora collection number 10 brush, I'm just going to blend with a little bit more of that first transition shade. So now I'm going to go into this darker brown and just slightly bring it into the crease and uh, outer corner and into the crease. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that darker brown color just to like really create that outer V shape. So at the time when I did that original look, I had an all matte palette, so I literally had like only mattes to play with. But since this one has a little bit of shimmer, I'm going to update it. I'm going to take a little bit of this gold and place it right on the center. Okay. When my mom said, oh, y'all want some pigment, let me give y'all some pigment. Cause that went on dry and I love it. I know you can't really see it on camera. I'm looking at it in my little like screen thing and I'm like, like you can't really see it. But trust me, she there. Uh, I'm now going to take this more like champagne shade and just pop that right over here. Okay. Already this is 20 times better than my original look. <laughs> so real quickly, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Midnight Chaos eyeliner, do a small wing, uh, put on some mascara, and for mascara, I'm gonna use the Mega Protein Mascara by Wet n Wild. Lashes, I don't have any drugstore lashes. They look good. <laughs> I'm just being fully honest, they don't look good on me. So, I'm gonna pop on one of my usual pairs. That's the only thing that's not going to be drugstore. Aside from that, I'll be back. I'm gonna have my face on, which collab primer, can't stop, won't stop foundation, concealer, fit me powder, wet n wild bronzer. Not sure which blush I'm gonna use. I'm either gonna use Revolution or wet n wild. And then my highlighter is wet n wild. And, uh,. And we'll come back to finish the eyes and lips. I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. Uh, I can never remember which shade of the bronzer I like, so I had to use Bronze Dynasty and You're Dragging Me Down. I did not use Queensland. That probably would look good too. Uh, I used both blushes because <laughs> I used this one and I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that because this is the one that's color changing one it goes from like this green black duochrome into like a really nice like warm pink I'm like this is looking a little too warm so I did go in with uh, Beloved by Revolution just to cover that up slightly and then for highlight I used Moon Tears by Wet n Wild my favorite highlighter one of my favorite highlighters and now we're going back to the eyes First thing I want to do is I'm actually going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I'm going to run that in my waterline. Uh, here's where I'm getting a little nervous. <laughs> so what I did in my first time I ever did makeup was I did a underwing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my same eyeliner 
I'm going to follow from here, just going in under. And pray for me, because I did this one other time, and that was for my Megan look. So we're going to be using this black eyeliner. And just tracing under, slightly. I'm not going to go all the way in like I did the first time, because now I know that does not look good on me. But we're going to start about halfway. Real quickly, I'm actually going to take off my lashes, which I do not want to do, but I'm going to do that so that way I can actually get this right. And the lashes I'm using today were actually house lashes, so keeping it on the affordable side of the lashes. Oh. So I don't think you could hear it because I would I had that going fast, but I said it's okay if it's a little bit messy. Real quickly, while it's still slightly wet, I'm going to take the black that's inside this palette and use that to slightly smoke out the black. Oh my gosh, it looks pigmented. I'm scared now. Taking my Sephora collection number 10 brush and brulee, I'm just going to blend that out. And now on a far more easier to control brush, I'm going to go back in with some the rest of these colors and just bring them in. Okay, I'm going to put on my lashes again and I'll be right back so we can go on to the lips. Okay, so we're back. I was not expecting that much pigment from the eyeshadow because I'm like, okay, it's gonna be a wet and wild black. I was not expecting that much pigment. So that's why I kind of went into, let's ombre this out with the other colors. It's gonna look good. I know my under eye looks heavy, but I'm kind of living for it because I haven't really done like a heavy under eye since, oh, it's like been a while. But before we move on to lips, I'm real quickly going to take that same highlight that I used, Moon Tears. I'm going to apply that to the inner corners for my inner corner highlight. So before I really move on to like lipstick, I'm going to quickly lip line with Red The Scene by Wet n Wild. This is one of their gel lip liners and it's a gorgeous red. And for lipstick today, we're obviously going to be going in with a red, and this is Missy and Fierce, which is actually a dupe for the Fenty uh, Uncensored. Oh my gosh, I'm living for this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? Just a uh, setting spray. So I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to use my collab closing time 3 in 1 setting mattifying makeup setting mist. Gonna let my hair down, I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are with the finished look, and I had to run and Grab was my first palette whenever I did like this look for the first time. Uh, <laughs> it was this. This was my first ever palette. Um, I hold on to it for sentimental reasons because I, I just think about how far I've come. Honestly, <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I'm like, this was $5, and this was $5. 
This is so much better and I get more. Um, honestly, Wet n Wild, I'm loving these. Um, and this expired two years ago in March. But there's just... Looking at like this just brings back memories for me because it just brings me back to uh, me rooming with Juan and doing a full makeup look by myself, first time following someone I don't even remember makeup tutorial about how to make like a nice eye, and I was like I have no clue what I'm doing, and I literally <laughs> because I remember I was like. Okay, we have a base. I can do that. I can use this. Then I went down. I only used these two. This one I think I didn't even use. This one I had like all in the lid. And then under the eye, I just smoked this out and did a huge wing. And I was like, okay, this is what I'm doing. I have to run because <laughs> I was running late to the comp. I was doing a dry competition and I was running late. And now I'm just like living for this. Loving it. I wish I, honestly, I wish I would have known how pigmented that one wild shadow was, because otherwise I would not have added as, I would use a different brush. I would use a better packed brush instead of the larger one that I did, because I did not know how pigmented that black was. Oh my gosh, thank you, went wild. Anyway, um, oh, I just, uh, I'm just looking in the mirror, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've come so far. I just, I don't, I'm just really happy. Because when I first started out, what I had fit in a Mac, a small Mac bag, I had an e.l.f. primer, I had a Kat Von D, foundation. I didn't have a concealer. <laughs> I had, and it wasn't even a full foundation, I just had like the sample. Um, no, no, I didn't have the, I didn't have, the, I had the L'Oreal uh, True Match Concealer in N123. I remember that. I had that eyeshadow palette. I didn't have an eyeshadow, no I did. I had a mini eyeshadow primer from Too Faced, as well as a mini uh, chocolate Soleil bronzer that I used and I literally just did a strip across because I did not know better. Um, I had a, this is probably expired and I still have it because I'm just like sentimental, um, Ben Nye setting powder, which that is one of the best setting powders you can ever use, just saying. That's really good stuff. And I had, what else? I had a <laughs> Mary Kay mascara and a MAC Maleficent lipstick. That's what my all my makeup was at that time. Oh, and a CoverGirl blush that <laughs> got shattered. One of the Cheekers blushes, oh my gosh. I, I'm just thinking about it, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting really sentimental. I had no lashes. I literally filled in my brows with that black because I didn't realize that that was not going to be a good look. But sure enough, I had like the darkest like black lashes ever. And I was like, ooh, I look good. And you know what? Being the only one that did everything by themselves, I was the only one that was like fully made up, fully like, I nared my legs. I nailed my legs, and I'm, I don't know, I could be, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, I kind of miss it. Um, I'm just thinking, I'm like, oh my gosh. I, and what did I do afterwards? What did I do? I went out, and I was just living my best life that night. I was walking in heels at Florida Southern College, and I was walking around feeling like the baddest bitch. Um, and I'm just so glad that I kept with it. 
and that I've learned better techniques. Because I look back at the first time I did makeup, I'm like, eee. Girl, that was not it. But now I can look at myself and say, hey, at least I know how to do better. <laughs> Honestly, this is very different from my first look because I have warm tones instead of cool tones because I don't have like a cool toned like nude palette. <laughs> That's from the drugstore because I want to do this only drugstore. Because I wanted to say to myself, hey, that's where you got started. And... <sighs> I need to stop before I start crying. I need, I'm sorry. I know I just like went on this long rant. So if you stay to this part, thank you. Um, if you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. If you like me and you want to see more, please do subscribe and click that little bell button because every time I see a new video, you'll get a notification. Aside from that, I don't want to say, so thank you for watching, and thank you for staying to this part. <laughs> um, I swear, I, I don't want to cry, I don't want to cry. But again, thank you for watching, and yeah. <laughs>